Yo, what's up guys, Duo here, bringing you a Sin Kisk guide. I planned to do this video after the patch notes dropped and they fixed all of his issues, which did not happen, so I figured I'd just send it now, uh, but yeah. Sin Kisk's gimmick is that each special attack has a unique follow-up it can cancel itself into using one bar of stamina. Hawkbreaker is a strike invincible reversal that can cancel into a second attack to keep things ambiguous on block while knocking the opponent away on hit. Beak Driver is a long-range stab with a follow-up that sends the opponent and flying back. Elk Hunt is a sliding low that goes under most projectiles. It can cancel into a strike that guard crushes on block and allows Sin to maintain advantage. Hoof Stomp is an airborne overhead that ignores low attacks and grabs. Part 2 is for extra damage as well as providing a mix-up on block. Sin can also spend stamina to dash cancel any version of his special moves to help close distance and maintain pressure. His goal in neutral is to use far-reaching buttons like 2S to confirm into his special moves. Sin's corner carry is really good when he uses stamina, so it's not not that hard to put your opponents back against the wall. Once you have them cornered, Sin has a variety of options including high-low mix-ups, grabs, and pressure resets. As far as offense goes, usually his strings involve using slash to poke. At range you can go straight into beak driver, but if you're close enough you can use either 5H or 2H to close distance on block and get more damage on hit. 2H is risky, but on hit it puts the opponent in the air, which allows Sin to do a variety of combos. At close range, Hoof Stomp will cause a ground bounce which Sin can dash cancel to extend his combo even further. Your next best option is Elk Hunt, which has a bunch of options depending on how much stamina you want to use. For no stamina, you can stay close to the opponent. For one bar, Sin can either dash under the opponent to side switch, or get the follow up for extra damage and corner carry. You lose Okazemi when you do this, however, you can spend another bar to dash cancel the second hit and stay close. If you want to save stamina or maybe just don't have any, you can spend Tension Meter instead to end your combos with a super. Tyrant Barrel is a one hit super that has a manually timed follow up when you press and hold the button again. The damage of the second hit depends on how well you time the button release, so make sure to practice this. Your other option is RTL, which does less damage than Tyrant Barrel but is fully invincible so you can use it on defense. You have up to three hits which you can control by inputting Heavy Slash plus whatever direction you want to go. This move has absurdly good corner carry, so Sin can wall break from almost anywhere on screen. Even if you're in the corner, you can RTL backwards and still wall break. But that pretty much does it. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.